Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about that uh, mysterious subject of the uh, salt deposit in a nutrient bottle. Uh, you need to know that all salts don't uh, mix together. This is why we manufacture nutrients in different bottles. But of course we take care of that when we manufacture and we formulate. So this is not the reason of a deposit. Just to give you an example, I'm, I'm, I was playing in mixing uh, the three components of our tripart nutrient, X uh, flora series. You see, when you mix grow and bloom, no deposit. A very clear, nice bottle. Why we do not mix grow and bloom? It's because the chemistry would not be adapted to growing situation or bloom situation. This is why we have to divide it. When we do a two uh, part nutrient, we uh, formulate completely another way. Then, grow and micro. Grow and micro, as you can see, if you mix grow and micro, you're going to have a little deposit and it's probably the, the sulfate reacting with calcium. Now, micro and bloom. Micro and bloom, you have a huge deposit. This is phosphorus reacting with calcium. So, none of this, of course, uh, is the, the reason why you have some deposit in the bottle because of course, we don't mix those ingredients when we uh, formulate. But I want you to notice how much deposit we have in this one. I've been putting 40 milliliters of each. In total, we have uh, 80 milliliters of liquid, so very small. And not all the salt are out of solution. Uh, only uh, calcium and phosphorus are out of solution. So. There's still a lot of magnesium and, uh, and potassium in the, in the remaining liquid. Just to give you an idea of the quantity of salt that there is in a bottle, and this is only 80 millimeters, so imagine a liter, uh, how many salts do you have? Just to, uh, to you know, put in proportion uh, what you can find sometimes at, uh, at the bottom of a, bot uh, of a bottle and the amount of salt that are really there in real life. So, in fact, if a nutrient is well designed and well, uh, and well formulated, there is absolutely no reason for a deposit. Uh, this is, for instance, a bottle of grow. I've, I've been searching for old bottles. So all I found today was that one. It's a bottle of grow that is from uh, uh, 20, uh, uh, sorry, 18, March 18. And you can see, we lost the color, that's, that's a fact. Uh, the dye will not last uh, more than a couple of years, especially if exposed to the light. But you can see that after four years, we have a slight, slight, slight uh, pousing in the bottom. And it's mostly the dye that accumulated. But in, in terms of salts, nothing happened. Uh, I've been keeping nutrients for many, many years and uh, no deposit in them. So what, ha what happens when there is a deposit? It's a good question, it's a kind of a mystery. Why is it that uh, a formula that works and does not cr uh, create a deposit suddenly makes one? Uh, I have a few ideas about that. Uh, of course, if your nutrient is badly formulated, it will deposit at every time. Uh, but let's talk only about nutrients that are well uh, manufactured and well uh, uh, formulated like ours that really stay very stable for a long time. What can happen? There's, in my opinion, there are two main reasons. One is cold. Definitely the, the nutrients will not... Actually, there are three main reasons. Uh, cold will do that. If, uh, if your nutrient is exposed to cold, uh, some of the elements will come out. Uh, we guarantee our nutrient up to 5 degrees and in fact we put them in a fridge. When we formulate something new, we put it in the fridge and uh, at, at 4 degrees it has to stay for a, a week at 4 degrees so we are sure that we can guarantee it up to 5. Second reason would be pH. We push the nutrient to the maximum we can put in water. And in order to do that, we have to keep the pH real low. Uh, if the pH goes up, maybe a for some reason it can go up by itself, just, just maybe the nature of the water. The pH goes up just a little, a tenth of a point, 
a little bit of the nutrient is going to uh, fall down at the bottle. And the last reason, in my opinion, if, if there is a seed, what I mean by a seed is that we purified and filtered that nutrient and so in order that have absolutely nothing left. Uh, nothing solid left in the liquid. But if by any chance a little, just a flake or, or, of anything, a little seed, that, that would uh, serve as a seed for, for, the, for the powders to congregate onto it and fall at the, at the bottom of the, of the bottle. And those are the three main reasons I can find uh, for a deposit in a bottle. But I want to reassure you, uh, again, look at that. Uh, this is serious. I mean, if you have a deposit like that in your bottle, it's gone. Uh, do not even use it. But what I mean is, this is about uh, f not even 50% of the salt in the water. So imagine that amount. So if you have a little couple of flakes at the bottom, frankly, it does not uh, ruin your uh, nutrient. It doesn't have uh, a, a real effect on it. We have about a 10% margin on what we declare. So we are uh, systematically above 10% on what we declare. So if you have a little bit at the bottom of your, uh, of your bottle, it's not a big deal. If you have more than a little bit, then it becomes a problem. If you have that, th then this is a problem. Uh, you lose more, you, you need to know, you lose more salts coming out of solution uh, when you use the nutrient, I don't know if you notice, if you use, for instance, an aqua form, a cultimate today, uh, on the, the, you always have a little white uh, stuff uh, on, the, on the clay table. You always have a little bit. This is salt coming out of solution. And by, 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 a, by a large amount, the, these salts coming out of solution are much more uh, than the few flecks you can see at the end of the bottle. So, to round that up, if you have a little something at the, at the bottom, don't sweat it, don't worry. Just shake it and the chemistry is still good. If you have a big, big, big thing like that, then uh, something happened. And, but there is absolutely no reason, so you should never see that. Never, absolutely never. Uh, voila. Uh, because some elements don't mix together, and we know that is the case, especially calcium. Calcium is a big troublemaker. Uh, we uh, manufacture in uh, distilled water, in uh, pure water, but sometimes there can be a little bit of calcium left over, and then you, you might find in the bloom a little bit of flakes at the bottom. This is, this is a leftover calcium in, in, uh, uh, in the water. It's not even uh, 100 percent, uh, 100 percent of what's, what's in the bottom. So it's not a big deal. We try to avoid, avoid that and most of the time we do. Uh, normally, nutrients age well. Uh, they, they, are, they, 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 they live a, 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 a forever. I've been keeping some bottle at my house for many years and I have absolutely no deposit at the end. And if I see a few flakes at the bottom, I don't worry about it and I still use the nutrient. Well, uh, we do our best to avoid that kind of situation, but it will happen. It will happen again and we're trying to uh, keep that as a minimum possible, but it will definitely happen uh, sometime. If you want to keep your nutrient uh, in good shape for a long time, every time you use it, just uh, put the cap back on and keep it uh, store it in a warm, not hot, but normally warm place. Don't store it outside, don't store it in a fridge. I wish you all uh, good crops and success in your uh, growing operations and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any question. We are here to answer you. We normally answer in 48 hours at the max. Until the next time.